It's your longing to travel. Of course you are. That's why you're here. Today we are going to check out 12 beautiful towns to visit in northern Germany as presented by Lifestyle Hal. Hi, I'm Arnie and this is Arnie Jacobson TV. And if you like travel, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button, click the bell icon so you won't miss anything, and check the show notes for any further information. So yes, we're visiting 12 beautiful towns in northern Germany, some of which I may have been to, some hopefully not. So I'm learning a little bit too. Why don't we dive in, check it out. Oh, and by the way, if the, the towns that I have been to, I will throw in some additional information just to kind of think, keep things a little different. Here we go. Number one, Stralsund. Surprisingly enough, first town is Stralsund. And uh, it's in northern Germany, right on the water, as you can see. And... Surprisingly, my father's um, grandmother comes from here, or probably or just around there. Surprising. When, when we found that out, we had to go and uh, thought it was going to be a little village, but it turned out to be a pretty good-sized town. Beautiful, too. Stralsund is a peaceful little town of just under 60,000 people, lying on the shores of northern Germany. It is a little gem on the Baltic Sea. That little uh, square that's over there on the upper right hand corner doesn't look much from, like much from this angle, but it's a nice square and the church is fabulous. Post that enjoyed the status of being a significant trade that city. Ship, that ship, that tall ship, by the way, you can go century. on that. It's a, um, I've forgotten now what, what they were doing, but anyway, you can go on it. In 2002. And it's best known for its Gothic town center and colorful houses. Only a few minutes away from Stralsund, you'll find an expansive sandy beach that looks on to the Rugen Islands. Number two, <laughs> Varnamunda. <laughs> Been to Varnamunda too. Um, we went there because of a recommendation of a former colleague of mine, and uh, it turned out to be a great little town, great beach town. If you're into beaches, it was a beautiful, beautiful beach, but don't stop there. Go into the town. It's really cute. Found on Germany's Baltic coast, about two hours north of Berlin. Don't you just love the striped beach huts? It's a destination that Germans like to keep secret perfect seaside stress-busting retreat from the city. Take a walk along the water's edge or climb the lighthouse for views over the Baltic and visit the famous teapot building that's home to some great local seafood. That's such a great shot, sunset. Number three, Bismarck. Bismar, such a The picturesque port city of Bismarck. We dropped in there and I didn't really expect much of it, but boy, it turned out to be a great, great place. Again, on the water. On the Baltic Sea coast should not be missed, especially if you're interested in medieval architecture. It was originally a trading port so, and part so of the powerful many. trading group called the Hanseatic League. This, this was a beautiful, beautiful square, that gazebo-ish kind of thing. And uh, the town is a world heritage. The entire Altstadt was listed as a yeah. world cultural heritage site by UNESCO again in 2002. And it's here where you'll find the town hall, many beautiful brick Gothic buildings and the iconic Wasserkunst fountain. Uh, we walked and walked. Of course, we always do that. Walk and walk. Just love looking at architecture and experiencing that. Never get tired of it. Yeah, that's beautiful. 
number four. Oh, well, so Shveri, Jody has joined us. You can see her Shveri in the background. serves as the capital and of the state. Shverin, we were there for a couple of days as well. And uh, the, the castle on the lake is almost fairy tale like. The town itself didn't do much for us, but the, the lake, the, the castle, the museum in the castle were, were great. We love that. Of Mecklenburg Vorpommern in northern eastern Germany. And only a short train ride away from the Hamburg. Gardens were just great. The most iconic landmark is Schwering Castle, or palace, which sits on an island on Lake Schwering. Today, the castle features an impressive art museum and surrounding garden. So, if you're looking for lake views in particular, then this is the this perfect place. place. were impressive. Look at that gold dome. It, it just stands out. Actually glistens in the sun. Number five, Lubeck. Okay, so Lubeck. Lubeck, one of our favorite towns in northern Germany. It's a city that sits on a river and dec God, not decades, centuries ago, the residents built a moat so that it would be completely encircled by water. And here's a little tip. If you go here, they have uh, an electric motorboats for rent, I think it was called Go Boat, and um, we were able to use them for a, or use one of them for a couple of hours, and motor around the entire uh, perimeter of the of the city. Well worth it. It was so much fun. The city itself is just absolutely great. I mean, I think there's something like a thousand heritage or listed buildings or something like that. Maybe is a very picturesque that. city, famous for its Gothic-style buildings, mouth-watering marzipans, and perhaps <laughs> most famous for its fabulously beautiful Holstein Tor Gate. Lübeck is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List and has more than 1,000 historic buildings. The skyline of Lübeck is graced by a series of beautiful churches. It's fame for its marzipan industry that dates back to Marzipan is one of those things you either love it or hate it. That you need to try. So check out the cafes in the main centre. Amongst the beautiful courtyards and of course plenty of museums. Number six. Lüneburg. This was uh a town that we opted not to visit. We were in the vicinity, but decided not to go there. And um, I just got done watching somebody else's video and they showed it and I'm sad that we didn't go there. Lüneburg. At over 1,000 years old, Lüneburg is one of the oldest and best looking towns in Northern Germany. Located between the Elbe River and the colourful heathlands of Lower Saxony, the Hanseatic trade town, famous for its salt production, has an abundance of medieval treasures, and not to mention the red brick houses and pretty churches. But as a university too, Lüneburg is lively with plenty of places to enjoy your food and your drinks, a very social area. And of course, to sit back and admire the scenery. Number seven. Stade. 
Stade is some. Oh, that's nice. That's a, that's a Stade is not a place I'm familiar with. The small city of Stade is gorgeous a buildings and narrow history. alleyways. Located just down the Elbe River really from Hamburg, hour. most of Stade's attractions relate either to the Hanseatic League or its occupation by Sweden following the Thirty Years' War. Oh, that's gorgeous. Nice Take a scene. tour down the city's historic harbour and visit this the museum of inside a Swedish warehouse. Forever. Elsewhere in the old town, you'll spot plenty of pretty timbered frame houses for your photographs. Number 8. Freiburg. Freiburg is a university town and an excellent base from which to explore the southern side of the Black Forest. The cheerful town sits at the bottom of the Black Forest wooden slopes, and it's chock full of half timbered houses and twisting cobblestone streets, which you will find in many of these old towns. The local student population has given the town a lovely nightlife scene, but anyone can enjoy a drink along the gardens around the canal. Or you can hike up through the woods or ride the cable car up to the Schlossberg Mountains to the lookout tower where you can enjoy some serious, impressive views. Number 9. Cuxhaven. Located on Germany's North Sea coast, the small town of Cuxhaven is a great place for those who want to spend time on the water. Visiting Cuxhaven is more about discovering the sites around the coastal resort rather than the town itself. Begin by walking down the beach and past the colourful shelters sprinkled along its sands. And from there, you have Cuxhaven Beach which during low tide turns into a giant mud flat that can stretch for hundreds of meters. But of course, be careful. Well, I have to admit that uh, I'm not drawn to Cuxhaven. Maybe you're seeing something there that, that I don't, but that's not thrilling. Oh, now this place, Goslar, is thrilling. It's a great town. Number 10. Goslar. Goslar has remained popular for centuries due to its outstanding architecture and charm. Notably the spectacular city gates and walls. The imperial the town is filled with half-timbered buildings but also uniquely houses buildings that are clad in, in uh, slate. It, Great place to visit. We spent a couple of days there, enjoyed every minute. Imperial Palace and nearly 50 church spires rising beyond the skyline of timbered homes. By the way, it's in the hearts. The surprisingly area. narrow streets in Old Town bring visitors past many of these historical wonders. But the view is best taken from the hilltop location on the Imperial Palace grounds. So don't forget. You can go to Europe's oldest subterranean mine at the Rammelsberg Mining Museum. Another of northern Germany's medieval gem. Zellers' history dates back 700 years. Sell does not sound German at all. Sounds like it should be French or something. Yes. Once the home of European nobility, 
It is rich in historic buildings, including having one of Europe's largest collections of listed half-timbered houses. But don't miss the beautiful Hoppenau House. Zeller sits scenically on the banks of the Alpen River, and it is well located for hikes, which you can also do without your shoes. Other attractions are the Zeller Castle. Bicycling by others, enjoying sitting in the sun, having some good food. And lastly, a location which had to be on this list and is not in the north. Gerlitz. Now, have not been, but a friend of ours from Northern Ireland suggested to us that we go to Gerlitz. It's very near uh, Poland. His wife is from this area and he, he said, you've got to go. So one day we'll be there. North, we come to Gerlitz. Sitting on the Polish border, Gerlitz is Germany's easternmost town. Connected to its sister town by two bridges over the Nysa River, it's awash with historic pastel-coloured buildings and ancient churches, such as St. Peter and Paul. The pretty town survived the Second World War intact and remains well preserved. So it's no surprise in that Gerlitz has been the backdrop for several movie sets during or before the war. It's a beautiful place and one that just had to be included on this list. Time lapse makes us look great. I would love to go to that little restaurant right there on the river. There you have it. Wow, 12 great towns in northern Germany, some of which I've been to, we've been to, and some that are on the list. Of the, of the ones that were shown, Cuxhaven did not appeal to me at all, but the others, definitely. Make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. We'd love to see you back here for another American reacts to Germany or wherever. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it.